Mr. Johnson, thank you so much for coming today. Hey, and, man, I'm uh, delighted. I appreciate you uh, spending some time with us here at Grady News Source. First, you're an alum here I at the University of Georgia. I am a graduate of the Grady College, <laughs> class of 1963. Awesome. What changes have you seen here at Grady uh, from the time you were here to, to now? And well, you know. uh, I mean, a radical change. I mean, at the time I was here, journalism was probably the dominant course, <laughs> followed by broadcast, followed by advertising and public relations. Mm -hmm. uh, today, you've just seen a tremendous growth in broadcast. You've seen a tremendous growth in public relations and uh, not as much uh, emphasis by, by students right. uh, in, in journalism, which troubles me because I really believe to be an excellent reporter, correspondent, editor, you need to have the basics of, of, of journalism. Uh, and I'm, I'm really hopeful that, uh, that, that we will continue to, uh, to, to, to search for ways to educate on, 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 with, with, with the fundamentals. Fundamental number one being get it right. Mm -hmm. Get it right. Uh, we've, we've got so many channels of distribution today, and so many of them are not getting the information out accurately. You've worn so many hats during the course of your career. Uh, you've been a press secretary for LBJ. You have been a reporter. Yeah. Um, but you've also, of course, you've been the president and CEO of CNN, uh, the president and CEO of the LA Times. Yeah. How have you flawlessly transitioned from, from journalism to business? I fell in love with my profession right here in Georgia, right here in the Grady College. I mean, I discovered my passion. I loved what uh, this was all about. I loved the, the interesting people who were in journalism, the interesting assignments that we could get. Uh, and I also had a, a, a really good set of mentors along the way that helped to guide me uh, as, I, as I went forward. And I will say this, I thought both my undergraduate degree in journalism from Grady was very important, but also getting my MBA right. was very important. From Harvard? From Harvard. That's awesome. Uh, let's see, you worked, as we said, for LBJ as a press secretary as well as other jobs for LBJ. Yeah. How did press secretary help prepare you for being a CEO or president of a major media corporation? Well, what prepared me actually was my journalism studies here that prepared me to be a deputy press secretary and then later to be press secretary to the former president. I mean, I knew how to write. I knew how to write accurately. I knew how to write press releases. I also knew how to, in many ways, provide information to reporters and editors because I had been a reporter. I knew what it was like from, from the news side, the reporting side. And then I also learned what it was like from inside of government to uh, strive to get information out that was accurate and fair. Okay, awesome. Um, the day after you took your job at CNN, the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait occurred. I, I, what was it like that you well, you're I, I, protecting I, journalists all over the world? I, and how did how does well? It was really that, important because I was coming from having been primarily in newspapers mm -hmm. uh, with the Dallas Times Herald and the Los Angeles Times, and I was coming into CNN. There were many skeptics who wondered whether this newspaper guy mm -hmm. could actually run a television network, television news network. Saddam Hussein helped me because the, the day he invaded. Kuwait meant that we had to mobilize our fullest resources mm -hmm. to cover that story. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in a way, the people around me were sort of looking to see if I really had the right stuff okay. to do it. And, and fortunately, it turned out, I guess, uh, that I did because it was a great experience and I had some wonderful, wonderful people working with me on that, on that which was unquestionably the biggest, the biggest mm -hmm. story of my life. Wow. Um, you said, I read a quote from you that said that during your career at, C at CNN, the two biggest personalities that helped you were Saddam yeah. and what, were also the tremendous global coverage. Yeah. What do you mean by tremendous global coverage since you already well, well, CNN was fundamentally a U.S. domestic network. Okay. Uh, uh, however, when Ted Turner went down to Havana, he saw that, uh, that Fidel Castro was watching CNN. And it, it thought about, well, you know, if people in Cuba are interested, particularly those who could see it, I think that people around the world. So the war in the Gulf was such that it just propelled us 
into homes all over the planet. Mm -hmm. There was demand from the television, local television stations, demands from the networks, TV Asahi and others uh, uh, to, to get the CNN content. So we started providing the content to television stations and to cable systems all over the world and it truly globalized us. Awesome. You won the Paul White Award from the Radio Television News uh, Directors Association. What was your first reaction when you heard you'd won that award? Well, no, my first reaction was, well, uh, I was taught standards here. Mm -hmm. The importance of accuracy and fairness, getting the story right, uh, giving both sides of the story if, it's, uh, if there are more than one side. And uh, Paul White and that award really recognized excellence mm -hmm. in, in a profession. I was chosen by members of the profession uh, on it, so it, it meant a great deal to me. And, and in a way, it was like a stamp of approval for trying to to lead the organizations that that I'd been a part of. And still going right back though to my earliest days as a reporter. Mm -hmm. As young journalists, what's the number one thing, or a few things? that we need to make sure we take care of on a daily basis in order to be successful in this right. field? In order to be successful in this and almost any other business, but in this business, give every project your very best. Give every assignment your very best. That doesn't mean that you are the very best in comparison necessarily to somebody else. Somebody else may be able to jump higher than you. Somebody else may be able to run faster than you. But before you turn in a story, know that you've given it your best, whether it's a story for print or whether it's a story for broadcast. Give it your very best. And I just can't, I don't know where I picked it up, but I just can't release something almost, even with deadline pressure, until I feel that I've given it my, my, my very best. And I, I, I urge hard work. That may sound simplistic. <laughs> But along my life, uh, it wasn't my academic record, it wasn't my uh, innate intelligence, but I have worked hard in my life. And I must tell you, there are people out there today that are looking for young people of your age and the people in this room who are willing to first give it their best to work hard. I mean, that often means staying late, that often means giving up recreational activities. It may mean that you jump on the next plane to go into a place like Kuwait or Afghanistan or Iraq or, for that matter, go into the inner city or go here in Athens and find out what's happening in the homeless community uh, here. Uh, I still think this is the most exciting profession of all. I wouldn't have made a good lawyer and I wouldn't have made a good doctor and I wouldn't have made a good just pure business executive. I think this is the most exciting profession of them all. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. Did. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, I wish everybody listened to that. All right. <laughs>